Welcome to Dub Turbo. Let me show you how quick you guys can make beats with this thing. Choose your pencil tool, draw in two bars, enable your metronome, click on record, loop. These sounds are 1 through 10. Okay, click on record. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's how simple it is to make beats with Dub Turbo. If I got the notes wrong, simply go in here, adjust them to where they should be sitting, okay? There, rest of them are fine. This is your drum editor. You can choose your kits from here. If I don't like what I've laid, the instruments, I can simply choose a different kit. Choose crunk, and now my instruments will be different. Let me turn my metronome back off. I can keep adding sounds, listen to what I want, I want some of those hi-hats in there, I can draw them in here, okay, five is hi-hat, five, here's your hi-hat line, so I can go, and then I can turn this down a little bit if it's too loud, so now I have a, I like that, we'll leave it alone, we'll go down to a key track, okay, when you click P on any of these, it'll pull up your, depending on what you're, kind of track you're on. If you're on a key track, it'll pull up all your categories, and you can pull up all the bass sounds, choose a bass, and now Q, I'm turn my record off, Q is your second C, and Z down here is a C. So you can play things really easily, just like you would be on a two octave keyboard here, but it's four octaves, but you have two of them that are in control. Right by the keyboard. So we draw in Two bars here, same thing. Enable record. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's simple. Again, if it's wrong, if you hear that you've laid it wrong, click on edit. This pulls up your editor. Here, again, you simply move the notes to where they should be sitting if you've gotten them wrong. We can keep going, okay? We can keep laying stuff down. I'll just freestyle the rest, show you guys how simple it really is to do beats with this. Okay, now what I'll do is, this is our bar count, we'll move this up to 8. Now we have 8 bars to play with. I can, well, see this is my loop node? Take that loop node and drag it right to the end, now you're looping 8 bars. I can take any of these guys, holding down shift on the keyboard, click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag. There, I just made four copies, or three other copies, total of four. And now I can move these guys onto their own tracks, or only put them on a few of the bars. And I can keep going here and make crazy variations and take these bar, this bar count up pretty high. So now I have eight looped. What I can do now is, choosing this second guy, I can choose any of these ones, I'll choose the second one and click edit. And now we can go in here and edit this beat, and even though we've duplicated this, this is only a duplicate of this. If I edit any of these guys, it won't affect everything. It'll just affect the one I'm on. So what I can do now is create really cool roll effects for the next drop. Get rid of some of these extras. So listen to the sound roll right about here. And then actually what else I'll do is go in here. And is there a crash? Yes, there is. So I'll add a crash right at the start. So it'll roll crash into the next four. Okay, nice and simple with Dr. Everything's intuitive, everything has shortcuts. So it'll be easy for you guys to maneuver around the app. These are your volumes, and then you can do combinations of simply soloing a track if you want to listen to it by itself once you've laid a bunch of stuff, or muting things in combination so you can listen to combos of the loops that you've made and then arrange them accordingly along your timeline. So here we'll just go to export. It's currently exporting our performance. Simple three layers, but I just want to show you guys this within a few minutes, how simple it is to integrate your keyboard with the interface here. So now we'll label this. We'll call it quicker samples dot wave. Make sure you add the dot wave. Very important if your computer doesn't add it on your own. Boom, that's it, we're done. We just saved and exported our first WAV file. We go to the folder that we just saved it to, find it on your machine, and there it is, Quicker Samples. It's a WAV file, click 
click on properties you can see it's a big sample size summary 441 stereo raw PCM format it's exactly what you would use to take to a studio or to integrate into uh, SoundForge or Audacity play with master normalize loop extend do what you can with so if we double click this now there's our beat submit your beats to us you can make money with us by both submitting your beats and helping us sell dub turbo to your peeps if you're on facebook or youtube or myspace it's really easy to get sales from this and spread the joy of music you get full training videos which outline each feature a lot more detail than this one and then you can get more sounds from us or you can integrate your own sounds into this very easily too so once again thank you very much hope to see you guys on the following page don't forget this is a limited trial offer that we're offering everybody so these prices that you're seeing will not be around for too much longer take advantage of this while you can it's simple beat production done with high quality samples it really doesn't get much better than this